How do you do? That's Dan Natterman, one of the funniest comics in America. You got to the semifinals, right? That's correct. And then what happened, Dan? Heidi was not impressed, but uh, I don't think that's why I didn't go through. Oh. Yeah, I okay. think I didn't go through because it wasn't my best set. There you go. Well, no, I didn't say I agreed with you. The particular. <laughs> You thought you offended her, right? Did you well, not? Well, I didn't. I thought that because she said so. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Thank you so much. Show them okay. why I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's not fair that he's blaming this whole thing on me. Normally, by the way, it's me. Is that getting used to it? I find him funny always. But, but you know what? Everything funny, even your own jokes. <laughs> I do. Oh my God! Please be funny. I love Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I was here five years ago, actually. Here five, lots changed since, well, not that much has changed, but I, I'm still not married, still no kids. I am a, I did become an uncle for the fifth time. <laughs> but don't applaud that, who cares about being an uncle? Uncles don't do anything. Have you been to the bookstore? There's a whole section on parenting. There's no uncle books. <laughs> Nobody ever wrote like what to expect when your sister's expecting. <laughs> a lot of magazines about parenting. There's no uncle weekly magazine. What would an article be in that magazine? Is your nephew out of control with drugs and alcohol? Well, since it's not your problem, here's some weekend getaway ideas. <laughs> Can't believe five years since I've been here before, 30 years since I graduated high school, I was just at my reunion. You know, Facebook has ruined the high school reunion as we know it. You used to go to a high school reunion, it was fascinating, because you hadn't seen people in years. It was fun to see what happened to everyone. I went to mine, I see everybody on Facebook. I could have stayed home. I'm going up to people like, oh my God, you haven't changed a bit since that new profile pic you posted last night. <laughs> Come on. That, that's funny. I think dating is a lot easier now. We got text messaging now. When I first started trying to date, you had to call a girl up and have what's known as a conversation. Calling girls up, I, I'd be shaking like a leaf. I'm like, hey, deb, so, uh, but, deb, maybe we can have coffee or something. But texting is easy. I'm like a different person. I'm like, yo, baby girl, what you doing with your fine self? <laughs> Why don't you shake that booty on over here? Then she gets to my apartment. I'm like, girl, you looking fine tonight. She's like, I'm standing right here. Why are you still texting me? <laughs> that happened to me. No. Uh-oh. Keep going. Do I keep, keep going? going? No, it happened to me recently. Simon, I got a joke for you. You should have waited. You, you jumped the gun on this one, because you're going to love this next bit. You're going to love By it. accident, I texted my cousin Sheila, come over, I'm horny. Right. But I, as soon as I realized what I did, I apologized. I said, oh my God, cousin Sheila, I'm so sorry. That, uh, that was actually meant for somebody else, so uh, sorry you came all the way over here. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. The show is called Champions. Gotcha. You judge this show in a different context. You've got to walk away for the end of the night and remember things and go, you know what? I saw and heard something which blew my mind. That didn't. Well, in the music business, your opinion is gold. Gold standard. In, in the world of comedy, I don't think you know your ass from your elbow. I hate to say it. Can I just say something? Can I just say something? You finally had me laughing then! I feel like we need to clear the air. Okay. I just have to. Okay, good. Wow. If nothing else, you got a hug out of it, huh? The way I judge comedy is, do you make them laugh? Are they having a good time? <laughs> then you've done your job, my friend. Comedy isn't for everyone. Your comedy is for me, and hopefully it's for the super fans. Thank you so much. Thank you. You told Simon what it was all well, about. Somebody had to do it. And right now, my ass hurts.